Hey guys, Kim Crossman here. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so I'm going to read a story from um, this amazing book. Now, if you want to get this, I will make sure um, I have a link in my bio for it. It is Stories from Girls Who Dared to Dream. And they're amazing, amazing stories. I'm going to read one of them to you now. The story of Elizabeth. So get yourself comfortable. I'll find my page. Um... And I like this one a lot because it also includes a cow and I'm a big cow fan. So here we go. Should I do this as well so you can see it? This is the story of Elizabeth and she's from Uganda. Elizabeth never skips class or wakes up dreading school because for a very long time she wasn't allowed to go. When Elizabeth was growing up in her village in Uganda, families sent boys to school if they could afford it. And if parents had extra money, girls could go too. Elizabeth wasn't one of those lucky ones, however. Even though her parents wanted to send her to school, they didn't have enough money to afford the fees. She would watch kids walk past her each day on their way to class, and she wanted to go with them. She wanted to wear a uniform, pack a bag, play lunchtime games, and learn to read. Elizabeth would also watch adults drive past in expensive cars and go to good jobs, and she wanted to be like them. I told myself, I will work hard to give myself a better life. She knew education was her ticket to a different future. She wanted a job and income and personal success. And she knew good grades would get her there. Her dad got an extra job to try to pay for school fees, but it still wasn't enough. And over a time, Elizabeth began to lose hope. It was really hard. I would never get that kind of life that I hoped for, I thought, no matter how hard I worked. Then she met a lady called Auntie Anne, who helped struggling children and families in the community. Auntie Anne was a smart lady. She knew many practical ways to help families support their children, earn money, or get extra help when they needed it. One of those ways was to have a dairy cow. So on her birthday, Elizabeth chose a cow for her present. Who knew that a dairy cow could change a person's life? Cows make healthy milk that you can drink and sell for money too. They also have calves, which you can sell for more money. And soon Elizabeth was on her way to school and there was no way she was going to miss a single class. Today, Elizabeth is all grown up. She finished school, went to university and became a teacher herself. In a community where girls don't always get the chance to go to school, Elizabeth is a role model. She encourages her students to aim high, especially the girls. I feel extremely humbled to have students who look up to me, she says. I've seen how education can change your life. And sometimes all you need is someone to believe in you and a dairy cow. How beautiful is that? So this is an amazing book. It's full of beautiful stories like that uh, from World Vision. If you guys want a copy of this book to read, it's so amazing, so inspiring. Definitely, um, I will put that link in my bio. Mwah! Good night, guys. Sleep tight.